Good morning guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today is ultrasound day and I'm feeling a whole bunch of different emotions right now. I'm feeling excited and nervous and scared. I'm talking quiet because it's like 7 a.m. and I don't want to wake my daughter up yet but I'm I kind of feel like throwing up right now honestly but I'm really excited. I just hope that everything works out for the best today. I really, really hope that we see a heartbeat or two or three. Um, we did transfer two five-day embryos. They were both hatching. They are both great quality. So we'll see. I'm feeling like so all week and I would say majority of this waiting period I've felt like it was just one and then for some reason when I woke up this morning I'm like I'm having two like I'm gonna see two today and I'm gonna be so happy and grateful either way but it's kind of exciting it's kind of like not finding out the gender you really don't know am I having one or two at this point so it'll be interesting I'm really hoping for the best. I'm hoping that we at least see one healthy, strong little heartbeat. So yeah, I'm going to bring you guys along for this journey. I don't know if I'll be able to film during the ultrasound, but we'll see. So I had my ultrasound. This is probably going to be a shorter video because... I have just not been feeling the greatest today. I really think that the morning sickness for me is more like an all day sickness. The only time it really kind of goes away is when I'm eating. Other than that, I'm feeling pretty nauseous. And I'm thinking that it's just going to get worse because it's kind of just been getting worse every day so far. And I'm only six weeks, five days today. So, yeah. <laughs> so, this is probably going to be a shorter video. So, we had the ultrasound, then we went to Sam's Club and went shopping, then we dropped everything off at home and went out to lunch. We came back home, Rosie played for a little bit, and then I just put her down for a nap. And I'm probably now going to take a nap myself because I'm feeling exhausted. But I wanted to hop on and fill you guys in because I know you want to know probably just as bad as I did how many babies we're having. So I do want to mention before we get into that, um, kind of my feelings towards having one versus two babies. So if you guys are new here or unfamiliar, this was our fourth transfer. The first two transfers, we transferred just one embryo for the first one, one embryo for the second one, then the third one we transferred two embryos, which then brought us to the fourth one, um, where we obviously then again decided to transfer two, only because we've had four failed transfers. It was never our initial plan to have twins. Um, we specifically decided to start transferring two because we did not PGS test our embryos and because we had already three failed frozen embryo transfers. So it, it never was our intention to have multiples. There are a lot of risks that go along with having multiples that I am very well aware of and took into consideration. That's why our first two transfers that we did were just one embryo each because we, we honestly just want a healthy baby or babies. Like that is the main goal is for me to stay healthy and for baby or babies to stay healthy. Um, and then for me, getting a little bit deeper, it was really hard for me to decide to transfer two embryos because I had a very, very traumatic delivery with my daughter, Rosalie. It ended in a C-section 
and the epidural I had wore off mid C-section and it was literally like nothing I could explain to you the pain that I was in um it literally makes me anxious talking about it um but I knew that transferring two embryos and having the chance of conceiving multiples would mean that I would have to have another c-section and it was it was honestly a very very hard decision for me to make because my birth experience the last time was just so traumatic that I just having another c-section the thought of me having to go through another c-section I just I don't know I just don't know about that and that would be the case if I were to have multiples I would have another c-section they would not do a v-back for me so that is the unfortunate part probably one of the most unfortunate parts for me about having multiples and the risk of us transferring more than one embryo so I had mentioned this morning that I have thought this whole time that it was gonna be one and then this morning I woke up and for some reason I don't know why and I slept like total crap last night <laughs> um, but when I woke up I thought it was gonna be it's gonna be two so we had our ultrasound and I will show you Let me fold it down a little bit so you don't see all my information but here is our one little baby that stuck with us so we have transferred at this point a total of six embryos throughout these frozen embryo transfers and we finally have one healthy strong little embryo in there and I literally could not be more excited I am so so thankful so grateful so excited um, I kind of thought because it's crossed my mind several times how I would feel if it were obviously if it were two or if it were one would I like be sad because it's not twins or because we technically now <laughs> lost another embryo um, and honestly I didn't know how I would feel going into the ultrasound and seeing one or two what I was really gonna feel and when I seen this strong healthy little baby with a heartbeat joy just flooded my body like I am just so grateful I honestly it does not matter to me how many is in there I mean I probably would have been a little nervous with more than one baby only because like I said I had a very traumatic birth experience but I could not be more happy I think that everything happens for a reason I think right now this is exactly perfect for us so let me tell you some stats so today I am six weeks five days pregnant and the baby is measuring six weeks and four days so that is like amazing it's only measuring one day behind uh, my estimated due date is October 30th which I am so excited about I have always wanted a Halloween baby so I'm pumped for that and the baby's heart rate today was 134 beats per minute and because I am so early we did not get to hear it but you could see it flickering on the screen and she did measure it and it was showing one at 134 beats per minute which is really really good so my doctor is extremely happy she's extremely happy that my beta numbers were higher and that the heart rate for six weeks and five days is on the higher end so she is very very hopeful she's very excited for us she thinks that we have a very strong little baby growing in there and today I also graduated from my fertility clinic 
So I will now be just seeing my regular OBGYN. So I will go in in two weeks when I am eight weeks, five days pregnant for my very first OBGYN appointment. And I'm hoping so badly that she will do a scan for me that day. Um, she did with my daughter, she did only because we were a infertility case coming from the fertility clinic. She did a scan for me at eight weeks. So I'm hoping that it'll be the same. So yeah, that's where we're at. I hope that you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss my updates. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.